The thing to remember about this video, when you see this symbol, that means it's an official recommendation. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here at Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida. Pizza and hamburgers, a big part of the American diet and a big part of theme park menus. Let's go check them all out today. This way to all of the places you can buy pizzas and hamburgers at Islands of Adventure. And if you're thinking about purchasing tickets to Islands of Adventure, please consider using the affiliate link in my description box. All right, let's first head into Marvel Superhero Island. The Cafe Four does offer pizza, a jumbo slice starting at $11, or a whole pizza starting at $39. And while the pizza offered at the Cafe Four is my favorite pizza in this theme park, not good enough to make the official recommendation list. And our first burger joint, the Captain America Diner, offers a couple of different burger platters. I think the cheapest one starts at around $16. The Comic Strip Cafe, when open, offers pizza and hamburgers. It's an individual pizza. Cheapest one I can find is $12.49. And the cheapest hamburger offering I can find is like a cheeseburger platter for $14.49. And now Wimpy's Burgers in Toon Lagoon. And finally, we see for the first time that recommendation symbol. That's for the Wellington Burger. The Wellington Cheeseburger Platter, $17, served with curly fries. The burger itself, cheddar cheese, tomato, lettuce, pickle, onions, and mayo ketchup. Not only does this burger get the official recommendation symbol, I think it's the best quick service burger you're gonna find in a theme park. Sure, you might find some full service restaurants with better burgers, but as far as a quick service, counter service place, Nothing is going to beat the Wimpy's Burger. Probably because unlike other quick service restaurants, this patty, fresh, never frozen. And that's a big deal when it comes to a hamburger patty. The Pizza Predatoria. What on earth could they serve here? Well, what do you know? It's pizza. Some pizza combos. The individual cheese pizza combo, $17.59. The pepperoni, $18.59. And the meat lovers, $19.59. Also located in Jurassic Park, the Burger Digs. The food places in Jurassic Park, very descriptive. There are two burger platters here. A bacon cheeseburger platter for $15.99. And the Casado Burger for $17.99. The Casado Burger, a Costa Rican inspired Angus patty, sweet plantains, avocado, pork belly, and veganaise on a brioche bun. There are no pizzas or hamburgers in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. In the Lost Continent, Mythos, a highly regarded full service theme park restaurant, does not have a hamburger. But it does have the Mythos Signature Lamb Burger. Hand-packed ground lamb, grilled onion, shredded lettuce, fresh tomato, feta olive aioli, served with french fries. $22 for that lamb burger, but what do I think of it? I have no words. I don't need any words. The symbol right there says it all. It's a recommendation. And now, the Circus McGurkis Cafe in Seuss Landing. The Circus McGurkis no longer offers pizza, which is a shame, because the pizza was really kind of good here. But they did enhance the menu in the way of their new burger. They now have the Big Top Burger, starting at $15.49, a fresh beef patty, cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, secret sauce on a red brioche bun served with curly fries. This quick service hamburger, the Big Top Burger, on par with what is offered over there at Wimpy's. In fact, I think, I think it's the same fresh beef patty. 
And now, on to Universal Studios of Florida. But before we step in the studios, you may have noticed here at Islands of Adventure, I did not recommend any pizza. Therefore, I'm gonna stop by a pizza place here in CityWalk and give you a recommendation. I absolutely love the Red Oven Pizza Bakery, mainly because the dough and the sauce, both phenomenal. I've never counted before, but it looks like they offer 13 different types of pizza divided into two categories, white pizza and red pizza. But for me, the one that earns the recommendation badge is the Big Eye Pepperoni. San Marzano tomato sauce, mozzarella, and large pepperoni. And not a bad price at $15, as I feel that pizza is shareable by two people. Though my wife Nikki likes it so much, she would argue that point. She wants it all for herself. And that sound you just heard was me entering the doghouse and the door closing. And by the way, right next door to the Red Oven Pizza Bakery, Cowfish, the best hamburgers on property. I can't even pick one for you. All of them are a recommendation. And of course, the NBC Sports Grill and Brew has hamburgers, but nothing that really earns a recommendation because, you know, cowfish. And also, while it's not a pizza, they do offer a margarita flatbread. But speaking of flatbreads, inside of Universal Studios Florida is the Today Cafe, and I do have an official recommendation here. The chicken pesto flatbread for $16.49, and bonus, gluten-free, as it is a cauliflower crust, pesto ricotta, grilled chicken, Brussels sprouts, red peppers, mozzarella, pine nuts, with a balsamic glaze. I love it after I brush off the Brussels sprouts. And now a legit burger joint, Mel's Drive-In. Of course they have hamburgers, however, I find these hamburgers to be typical theme park hamburgers. Now the onion rings, on the other hand, are phenomenal, but this is not a video about side dishes. Near DreamWorks Land and the SpongeBob Store Pants store, is the DreamWorks Imagination Cafe. Brand new menu, which offers a pizza. It's the Ogaroni pizza, which is pepperoni, fresh mozzarella, basil, pizza sauce on a fluffy and crispy dough for $13.49, or just get the Ogre Cheese Pizza, which is the same, but without the pepperoni, so a dollar cheaper. Now this one, is gonna be my toughest decision of the day. It's right down the line as the dough. The crust is phenomenal, amazing. But the sauce is just mid-level. I don't know what to do. I think because it is a different style pizza, something you're not gonna find anywhere else in the park. I think it will earn, uh, does it? Yes, a recommendation with the caveat of, uh, you know, the sauce is mid-level. But the rest of it, phenomenal. Fast Food Boulevard in Springfield has both pizza and hamburgers. Luigi's has individual size pizzas starting at $12.49, but nothing to write home about. The Krusty Burger has burgers. The Krusty Burger, starting at $12.99. The Clogger Burger at $17.49. And the Mother Nature Burger for $12.99. The Krusty Burger is a one-third pound burger with secret sauce, cheddar cheese sauce, a giant tomato slice, iceberg lettuce on a specialty bun. Now of those three burgers, I will give the recommendation badge to the Krusty Burger, but again with a caveat. It's so unique. It's a novelty burger. You can't get a Krusty Burger anywhere in the country. So for that reason, I think it's something you should try at least once here, and I will give it that recommendation badge. No pizzas or hamburgers in the wizarding world.
a Lombard's Seafood Grill. Yes, it does have a hamburger. It's pretty good. The Wharf Burger. But it's a seafood place. I can't recommend a burger at a seafood place. Even if it is a half pound Black Angus beef toasted bun, choice of cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, pickle, served with French fries burger. It's a seafood place for crying out loud. Now, if you're there and you can't find any seafood that you want, then yes, it's a very good burger. Give it a try. Richter's Burgers. What do you think about this? It has burgers in the title, but this is like Mel's Drive-In, your typical frozen patty quick service hamburger. Burgers start around $16 here, but it's kind of that situation where you're here, it's here, you're hungry, so you have the burger, and then you're no longer hungry. In New York City, Louis is my favorite quick service pizza in a theme park. Jumbo slices start at $11. A whole pizza can start at $16.09. This is a New York style pizza. And when I say it's a jumbo slice, it's like if you really wanted to, you could cut it in half and share it with someone. So you, it'd be like half the calories and half the cost. But it's probably so delicious, you want to eat it all yourself. Yes, I am a long time fan of Louis Pizza. And just for fun, check out the name on the sign. Corleone, a little nod to the Godfather. Finnegan's Bar and Grill, a lot of recommendations in here. My favorite full service, table service restaurant at Universal Studios Florida. However, I don't have a recommendation for the burgers, though they are very good. They are the Web Burger and the Grand Old Burger. I think the problem is the other food in Finnegan's is so good that it's not the hamburgers that draw me in. It's the other food. I mean, it's hamburgers. They're good, but you get hamburgers everywhere. There's some dishes in here that I just can't find anywhere else or dishes in here that are just better than any other place. This little kiosk here in New York City, 57 Fair, it does have jumbo slices of pizza starting at $10.99. And yes, it is the Louis Pizza. However, since it's not made here, it has to be carried over here. Since it's not as fresh, not as good in my opinion. Hey, the fresher the pizza, the better. I don't make the rules, that's just the rules. There is a very nice pizza oven inside of the Minion Cafe. But the question is, do I call this item a pizza or not? Let me explain it to you first. For the sake of you guys, I will call this a pizza because it's Mel's Meatball Mountain. They refer to it as a wood oven baked stuffed pizza. So there you go, pizza, but not in the traditional sense at the Minion Cafe. You know what that Minion Cafe does? It makes me think. Over in Marvel Superhero Island, I should have included the pizza stuffed pretzel that they have over there. Uh, it's at the lemon slush stand right as you exit Marvel and go into the Midway Games area. So I should have mentioned that, but at least I remembered now. So in case you're in the mood for a pizza stuffed pretzel, you can get it there. But I think that will do it for today. I think that's all of like the pizzas and hamburgers that I wanted to mention. Like I could have mentioned like the Hard Rock Cafe has a hamburger or like the uh, Tusum's Chocolate Emporium, but those are kind of just nothing that would get the recommendation badge, but also available should you desire. And with all that being said and done, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Click that subscribe button. It's gonna be a good day. Good day, Mickey Nicky show the way. It's gonna be a good day, good day. Let your Barbies face.